first step is going to be removing the DC jack. Desolder the red wire going from the jack to the preamplifier. Then from the tag board, desolder the red wire that goes to the jack. Next, desolder the blue ground wire going from the tag board to the preamplifier. Lastly, desolder the resistor from the jack. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the jack's mounting plate. In some cases, you'll find that these screws are pretty stripped, and you'll need to sort of just pull them out and remove the plate that way. Next, we're going to remove the output jack. First, you need to disconnect the blue ground wire going from the jack to the top pickup. You can desolder this, or you can just clip it. Using a half-inch nut driver, remove the nut from the jack and simply pull it into the piano. With your flathead screwdriver, unscrew the three wire clamps and set them aside, as we'll be using these later. With a pair of edge cutters or a razor blade, cut the tines securing the wires together. Collect the clippings and throw them away. Separate the preamplifier's output and power wires from the pickup wires. If there's a cable tie securing the wires, remove it. Now you'll desolder the pickup wires from the preamp. You might want to take a photograph or make a drawing of where the wires were for your records. Now you can remove your old preamp for storage. Now we have to remove the old preamp support block. With a razor blade, score around every edge until the glue has been sufficiently cut. You'll find that in some clavinets, the support block is oriented in a different direction. That's quite alright, it needs to be removed nonetheless. Once the edges have been scored, begin to move the block to further break the glue's bond. Once the block has been sufficiently loosened, utilize a twisting motion to free it from the base. Use a razor blade to pare away any remnants of the dowel or glue that may be left behind. Use a piece of sandpaper to even out the surface for the new block. At this point, it's a good idea to take a vacuum to the base to get rid of all the dust and debris that may be left behind. Insert the thumb screw to the preamp's base and screw it into the new support block, making sure that the indentation is facing the PCB and the outside edges are flush to one another. Insert the preamp into the base and slide it forward to ensure that the lip of the front rail nests in the groove of the cheek block. Ensure that the outside edges of the cheek block are parallel and flush to the base. We need to make sure that the recess in the lid closes on top of the thumb screw. Once it's in place, readjust the outside edges of the preamp's block to ensure it's flush and parallel to the base. Hold the preamp firmly in place with one hand and use the other to install the rear mounting screws. Remove the thumb screw and slide the preamplifier back and out of the base. Install the front support screws. Now we'll install the new DC jack. Slide the wires into the base. Center the jack plate in the open and install the three mounting screws. It might help to pre-drill these holes, but in most cases it isn't necessary. Insert the output jack into the base. Secure it to the jack plate with the washer and nut and install the three mounting screws. Use a half inch nut driver to tighten the nut while holding the jack from the inside. Neatly arrange the power, output, and pickup wires in the base 
and secure them in place with the mounting clamps removed earlier. It's time to install the pickup wires to the premium. Starting with the top pickup wire, install the yellow, red, and shield wires into the terminal strip. Now install the bottom pickups wire, again following the same orientation, yellow, red, and the shield. A wiring diagram is available on the website. With the preamp resting on the support block, connect the DC and output jacks to the PCB in the appropriate locations. In addition to location, the orientation of the connectors is important. Reinstall the preamp into the base, insert and tighten the thumb screw, and close the lid. This completes the installation of the Vintage Vibe Vibonet preamp. Yeah.